Mr. Joe Long here, WPAT Radio. Would you like to tell us a little bit more about Tell It in the Rain to our audience at uh, WPAT? It was during a time when the group was beginning to evolve musically. Um, I guess Under My Skin was the beginning of a, of a, of a new a trend in vocals, you know, our, our style of, of, of singing. And Rain just continued that, that change, that, that more or less that uh, advance toward, toward a, a newer sound. Uh, Rain was a big hit for us, and uh, I, I just felt that it was a good turning point for the group. And by the way, uh, our group does that song as part of their show, and they'll be uh, doing a, a CD in just a short time. Maybe you guys could, maybe you could talk to the guys about that. But uh, uh, we've been talking about doing a, a, a CD with a couple of uh, songs, season songs, and maybe one or two things that the seasons did, but were never released. And uh, we feel like that would be yeah. great to get the guys on and come and play live in the studio. We could talk, bring the guitar, and have you come down soon. We'll set it up with Jim. Here. Oh, that would be great. That would be fantastic. Yeah. What was it? Was there any differences between you guys when you were singing, like the differences in terms of the temperaments of the, of the guys in the band? Oh, yeah. I mean, it was a lot of. A lot of any, any of the guys no, here. You always, know, you always they, find they, that. Yeah, I'm sure the guys that are sitting next to me will tell you that, you know, you got three or four or five or more people in the same room, living together, traveling together, temperament is always going to be yeah. an issue, you know? But, you know, it's like a, like a marriage, you know, you, you, you rise above it, you, you get back to the basics, you do what you got to do. Other yeah. than Frank, Frank Sinatra being uh, the, the most important person, I believe, that you grew up listening to, right. who would your second and third oh, artists be uh, that you recall growing up to Well, I was, I was a jazz guy as a kid, and, and so uh, my Artists, with it, in plural, the Four Freshmen were my favorite, really very favorite vocal group. Uh, of course, you know, most of the people, the younger people, don't know who they are or were, but they were very big back in the late 40s and 50s and 60s. Uh, four Freshmen were great. A uh, big Count Basie fan. Uh, Ella Fitzgerald, to me, had the greatest set of pipes that God ever uh, bestowed on anyone, you know. So she was, a, she, was a big, she was a big, uh, a, a big uh, influence on me, yeah. We're going to hear someone from uh, John Salvato, we're going to do Prees, we're going to hear Please Let Her Know. You want to share a little moment about that uh, wonderful song, John? That one of the songs I didn't like recording, mm -hmm. yeah. so yeah. I'll let you play it. Oh, okay. Jeff, Jeff likes. Uh, Jeff okay. likes. Okay. What do you mean? Okay, Jeff, this is for you here at oh, WPAT Radio. <laughs>